All right, here's what we're gonna do really quick. I'm gonna run you guys through the uh, bonded and bridged with VLAN network setup that I have in Proxmox. Took me a little bit to get this stuff configured, so I just thought I'd share it with you. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and cluster the machines together and then start installing stuff. So here we go. Uh, what we've got is I had to create a bond, which there's a, an option up here. Uh, create Linux bond, which gives you uh, this bond connection here. And then you, you specify which NIC interfaces are actually going to be bonded. Uh, the Cisco switches that I'm using do support LACP with the 802.3 AD uh, standard with a layer three plus four uh, hash policy. And if you're not familiar with LACP, basically what that does, it allows uh, more granular load balancing across the links in the, the bonded connections that you have. And then moving forward, you're not going to use the ENO1 or ENO2 uh, NIC interfaces anymore. Bond zero is essentially your new interface that you're gonna bridge into everything else like you normally would. So, um, so that's what I've got set up here. And then, uh, you know, normally you have your, your bridges that your uh, virtual machines get, uh, get connected to. And instead of connecting to a physical interface, you're going to just connect it to bond zero. Uh, I'm going to go pretty quick here. I know there's some other tutorials on YouTube on how to do this stuff, but they seem to be really long. So I'm hoping by moving fast, this will help you guys out a little bit more. Now, on top of that, uh, they, I am running uh, different VLANs and right now uh, I just have VLAN number 100 uh, configured right now. So you can come up here to the create uh, dialog box again in this drop down menu and go to create VLAN. Now, for some reason it auto populates VLAN zero, but that's not what you actually want because our VLANs are going to be on uh, VMBR zero. So the VMBR zero dot, let's say dot 10 would be VLAN tag 10. And you can see here how VMBR zero is the raw interface and the VLAN tag is 10. I didn't forget to mention one thing. I'm going to jump back to the bridge here real quick. And you can see that VLAN aware is checked and that's absolutely imperative that you have that box checked I meant to mention that earlier um, once all that's done you can do apply configuration and then i recommend rebooting um, i was doing some of this in the command line as well before i figured out how to actually just do it all in proxmox and uh, when i would restart the networking uh, service on the machine it, it wasn't coming up so um, i i'd say once you get your settings in here like this Go ahead and just reboot the machine and uh, you should still be able to like if you're running like vlan 100 and you put the ip address on on that sub interface you should be able to jump right back into the the proxmox ui uh, just like we are right here right we're at 192.168.1.123 and that's the ip address that we have configured here so um that's that i'm going to start a new video uh, for the clustering it's a really easy thing but for uh for networking i'm gonna cut it off here and we'll see you guys in the next one